Hi guys, Jerem here, and I'm thinking about doing something new. I know I've been a monkey ball YouTuber for a while, and I feel like I haven't been very vocal about how I feel about certain Super Monkey Ball aspects. So, I have decided that I'm going to do a tier list of Super Monkey Ball 1 levels. Fun, right? But, you know, it should be fun. Super Monkey Ball 1 isn't the game I started with. Exactly, it's one of the later Monkey Ball games I got, but it is the first in the series, and I think it'd be cool to rank every single stage from it. Alright, so let's get started. There are about 109 stages, uh, not even about, there is 109 stages in Super Monkey Ball 1. A lot of these stages are very original, but some are also just harder versions of past stages. Nonetheless, I think Super Monkey Ball 1 has a very solid lineup of levels. But there are a couple of ones that, that kind of suck, and they should be in the bottom tier. But, let's start with the beginner levels. Alright, plane. Uh, well, plane's like basically a... just your average level, right? I guess average level goes in the average tier. There's not, re not really much to it. Diamond. I think diamond's actually a cool beginner level. It actually probably should have been the first stage, because plane is very basic. I would put diamond in A tier. Hairpin's also a really good introduction level. It kind of introduces the player to half pipes. Um, and there's also two ways to do it, and I would also give Hairpin an A tier. Wide Bridge. Wide Bridge is alright. It's it's a def decent level, but it's kind of slow sometimes. Um, I don't know. This one's kind of difficult. I, I'd say I'd put it in the B tier. Slopes. Slopes is, um... Slopes is alright. It's There's nothing much about it. It's a nice little introduction level of slopes of going downwards and there's also a cool shortcut so i put this in the b tier as well steps steps is okay as well it's the same thing as slopes pretty much but you're going upwards but upwards is kind of annoying so i'll also put this in the c tier blocks blocks is cool it has a nice dull logo onto it and i, I kind of like that nod to it it's also a pretty decent level i'd also put it in the b tier Jump single. Jump single is a pretty fun level. I would say it's cool to go down the ramp. And yeah, I think it's just overall a really fun level. So I put in A tier. Exam A. Exam A is the final level of beginner. And well, it's pretty good in difficulty. It's not super hard. It's not super difficult. But there's not really much to it. So I would put it also in the B tier. And that's all the beginner stages, so let's move on to the advanced stages. Alright, bump. Bump is just plain, but with the bump and you, I don't know. That that's C tier material. There's not much to it. Walking. Walking's an alright stage. There's also just not much to it. And, and this is gonna be a common trend with the early stages. There's just not much to it. Also, Super Monkey Ball 1 didn't have a lot of obstacles and stuff. It was just basic concepts. But I put walking in C tier as well. Repulse. Repulse is interesting. It's just two platforms that move side to side. There's not really much to it either. But it's a pretty decent level of, that kind of teaches you about patience. So I'd put it in the B tier. And I can see that there are a lot of a lot of them are in B and C tier. Narrow bridge is just wide bridge but worse because it's thinner and you have to wait for more cycles and stuff. So I'd put that in the C tier. Break is a cool level. It's basically diamond, but harder. And diamond's already a good level. And I think break is a nice, decently challenging level. Curves. Curves is pretty basic and kind of boring. Honestly, I always take the shortcut on this one because it's just so boring. D tier. It doesn't suck, but there's just not much to it. It's very boring. Downhill. Downhill is very long. It's kind of fun. But, I, I don't know, it's, it's just moving back and forth, and uh, i put this in C tier as well. Block Slim. Block Slim is just blocks, but with a hole in the middle? Uh, I don't know, just B tier I guess as well. Choice. I actually really like this level. It's, it gives you, um, you, know, con you know, just like its name says, a choice of which path you want to go on that gives bananas. And it's cool. I got this cool guitar motif going on. I do think that red goal is like 
impossible. Like, I know it's not impossible, but it just seems like it. But the thing that prevents me from giving this one S tier is that if you wait too long, these little, like, bumps come on, bumps come up, and they throw you off so much. So I put this in the A tier. Bowl. Bowl's pretty basic. It's just your average bowl. Put in B for bowl. Jumpies. Jumpies is a very, very easy level. It's pretty fun to use the things to bounce you up. Um, I'll put this in the B tier. Alright, stoppers. Um, <laughs> I do not like this level. It's just jamma bars everywhere. And that's it. Like They just block you off. They, they can throw you off sometimes. And honestly, even taking the outside path isn't even much better. So I'd put stoppers in the F tier, actually, because it's ugh, gross. Bent floor or floor bent. It's called it both for some reason. See, this level... When I was a kid, I touch and roll was my first game, and then this level in touch and roll screwed me up so much, and I, I just don't, I don't know, I've never really liked this level, I dread every time I see it, but it's not like stoppers level of annoying, it's like a D tier, I would give it. Conveyor, hmm, conveyor, it's pretty fun, but the conveyors don't even work, they're not actual conveyors, like if you stand on them, like, you don't move, it's just, they're not real conveyors. There's really nothing to this level, so I'll just put it in C tier. Exam B. I like Exam B better than Exam A, actually. I think it's cool. It has a cooler aesthetic being in the Monkey Mall. And it's also, you can skip the entire curved section. That's already a win for me, so I'll put this in A tier. Chaser. Chaser's actually a really fun level. I think it's really cool that it's shaped like a music note, and you can go down the goals and go down the slide to the goals. Well, I don't even know what I'm saying, honestly. But, and then the red goal is actually really easy, and the red goal makes you skip eight levels, or is it seven? I think it's seven. But that's still like top tier material, so that chaser is gonna be the first stage that's going in the S tier. Jump double, it's basically jump single, but you do it twice, and there's a little platform after the first one. But I just, I never do the stage normally because I have to wait, so I always do the shortcut. So jump singles in the A tier, what about jump double in the B tier? Now we're in the underwater levels. Starting with middle jam, easy F tier. I do not, this level is just so slow and it's also frustrating. And it's harder counterpart actually is easier because you can go at a normal pace while this one you go at a really slow pace. Ant Lion is pretty cool. It's pretty simple, but I, I don't know. I like the concept, I put an A tier. Collapse is a cool obstacle course. It's probably one of my favorite ones in this game. It's got a cool water aesthetic too, so does its harder counterpart too, but I put Collapse in B tier. Swing Bar? Eh, Swing Bar is kinda... It's okay. I don't know, sometimes you lose your rhythm on this one. Labyrinth is a really cool level. I do like the green goal path and the regular goal path. There are a couple Jammer Bars in there, which Jammer Bars suck, but... Labyrinth's green goal is also really easy to get, and also Chaser's red goal leads you to Labyrinth, so you're essentially skipping a lot more levels. So I put Labyrinth also in the S tier. Ooh, uh, Spiral. I almost called the stage Whirl, which is the touch and roll name for it. But Spiral, Spiral's okay. I actually just don't really like playing it though. Like, I always look forward to skipping it. It's just, I don't know, something about this stage just bores me. So I put it in the C tier. And Wavy Jump is next. Wavy Jump is alright, there's not much to it. It's simple, it's pretty easy. I put it in the B tier. Spiky, Spiky's pretty cool. It's, I, I like the spikes and stuff and that sort of obstacle. And it's not very difficult. It is very slow though, and if you're like speedrunning the game, it's just, this is a stage you don't wanna play. Thankfully, Labyrinth's Warp Goal makes you skip this level. So I'm gonna put Spiky in the C tier. Unrest. Unrest is an okay level. I, I'm not really a fan of this one. It's it's a bit slow and sometimes the movements of the floor can just be a little jarring. It's still a pretty simple level. I, I wouldn't like put it anything lower than C honestly. Polar. Polar is the final stage of advance and it's also the stage that can prevent you from going to advance extra. I noticed that Every time I play Advanced in Super Mario Ball 1, every time I lose my first life, it's on Polar. And in the original Monkey Ball, you can't get to Advanced after if you even lose a life. 
I this stage just caused me so much issues when I was a kid and it's just it's very difficult it's I don't know it's I'm not a fan of polar and I put that in the D tier well that's advanced so now let's move on to the expert stages I think there are gonna be a lot of lower tier ones for this one all right here we start the expert stages <laughs> a lot of these expert stages are actually pretty infamous in the monkey ball community and for those who are just monkey ball fans in general now let's start with ruin ruin is just bump and playing again it's also a hold up to win but there's just holes I, I don't know it looks nicer but it's still C tier because it's still a plain stage Branch is a pretty cool stage. Ironically, it's one of the few wire stages I like, because I'm not really a fan of wires. It's just a straight line, and the red goal path is pretty challenging, and you get to skip one of the stages that sucks. So Branch, I put it in the B tier for Branch. Now, oh shoot, now I'm getting like the second rows of B and C tier, because there's a lot of stages that are just B tier and C tier material. It's a lot of average stages. Overturn? Overturn is like Repulse kind of, but it like flips on its side. I think it's pretty cool and it has a warp goal again. Like I feel like the game just really doesn't want you to play Excursion because Branch has a red goal and Overturn has a green goal. I don't know, so I'll just put this one in C tier because um, it's okay. Excursion? Uh, probably my least favorite stage that is an exam stage. I don't know, there's just, this one is... If you miss the platforms, you gotta wait for them, and the wire at the end has the glare of the sunlight blinding in your face, and you have to go around bumpers before you go on the wire. And like I said earlier, the, the game really just tries to not let you play the stage because there's so many opportunities to skip it, so I'm putting Excursion in the F tier. Dodecagon, it's basically like Block Slim, but it splits into more pieces. I think this is a cool stage. I, it's just like the other two block stages I'm going to put in the B tier, honestly. Actually, I'm going to put it in the A tier. I actually really like Dodecagon. It's a nice refresher between two hellish stages. And Excursion was the first one, and Exam C is the second one. And this is probably the bane of everyone's existence, because it's the sixth, it's the seventh stage in Expert, not counting the bonus level. And it's just, there's just, it's just so difficult for no reason. It's basically exam B, but the wires are so thin and there's a checkerboard down here. I, I don't know, man. Exam C is just, that's a stage, man. It's so boring and it's so hard and yeah. But I'm going to put it in the D tier because I have a lot of respect for this stage because once you beat the stage, that's when you're considered good at people because this is one of the harder difficulty spikes in the game. Skeleton is like slopes, but it's a little bit harder. There's holes and the whole thing is a wire. It's it's really hard to do this level in the normal normal way because you get 30 seconds to do it. So I usually just take the shortcut for this one. But that's not good game design, honestly. So I'm gonna put this one in the C tier. Tracks <sighs> tracks sucks just like it's empty. I don't know what it is that every other stage has really long wire stages. But Trax is even worse. It's basically choice, but with a long curved wire, and the 1.0 path isn't there. It's it's just so boring and kind of tedious, and also it could be a run killer if you're kind of new to the game. And you feel, even after you beat Exam C, you're just like, yes, hopefully I don't have to do something like that again. Boom, Trax comes in the way. Ugh, I I do not like the stage, honestly. I'm gonna put it in the F tier. Downhill hard. Actually, I really like Downhill Hard. I might, I'm putting it in the S tier. And the reason is because it's fun to go down the hill. And it's pretty easy. And you get to, it's good for like having quick, quick reaction time to dodge the bumpers, honestly. Gear. Gears is very um, slow and kind of boring. And you could go the fast way. I always go the fast way because I just don't want to wait the whole way. It's pretty easy for an expert stage, though. I'm gonna put it in the D tier as well. Destruction, Destruction 100. Destruction is basically collapsed, but a little bit harder. Kind of just a lot of the pieces in there are just out of order, and it's on the same level as Collapse. Honestly, it's there's just there's not even much difference to it. Heck, it's even in the same world. They look very similar from afar, even with these tiny images. You can even tell. 
So I'm putting destruction in the B tier. Invasion? Invasion is a level that pisses me off sometimes. Sometimes I do well on it, but then sometimes I do horribly on it. I don't know, it's just like, sometimes I'm not even touching bumpers in the end and I'm still getting hit and dying. It's just, this level is just full of such of like poopy stuff and I just, I, I can't with this level, bro. I just putting in the D tier as well. Diving. Diving is just pretty much just wait one second and hold up to win. And why do we have these stages in Expert again? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's, we're pretty late in the game. So I'm gonna put Diving in the C tier. And Floor Slant is next. Floor Slant's pretty decent. I think it's a pretty cool concept for a level. It's very like, it kind of helps the player master slopes in a way and checkers on a slope. It's not too difficult to. And it's not that bad. I'll put it in the B tier. Tram? Tram sucks. Tram's going in the F tier. This stage is just, there's so much whack stuff that can happen, especially with that la last uh, segment to the goal, because you have to pick up a little speed because it's not on the same level as the player. Swing bar long also sucks. It's basically swing bar, but super long, and it goes a little bit steeper, and I just, I, I hate this level, dude. It's just, you go, sometimes I just fall off when I'm trying to hold back as far as I can. I think I've mastered this level pretty well, but I've seen my friends play, and this level is a run killer for them. I'm putting it in the D tier. Paperwork? Paperwork's actually a really good level. It's very, it looks nice, it's not that hard, and you can get some decent bananas here. And in this game, bananas are everything, because you can only start the game with three lives. So I'm going to put Paperwork in the S tier. There it is. Twin Attacker. See, Twin Attacker is okay. It's very quick, but it's also very difficult. And you could feel your lives losing in like that in this level. It starts the desert levels, and it doesn't start off very well. So I'm going to put it in the C tier, because it's still... A decent level. Sega logo is a cool level. It's cool to have, you know, the Sega logo, but sometimes crossing the letters can be a little bit annoying and painful. But it's a nice nod to Sega. I'm gonna give it an A. A for Sega Backwards Ages. Snake is also a pretty fun level. You can move around pretty quickly, or you can go the slow way. I don't know why it's called Snake though. I guess it, it's supposed to be a slithering snake. I don't know, I feel like there could be a better name for it. So, I'm also going to put Snake in the A tier. Alright, Wind, or Wind, as some people call it. Apparently it's pronounced Wind. I, as a kid, I thought it was pronounced Wind, but it's Wind. And this stage sucks. It's very boring. And if you do this one normally, you're most likely gonna get a time over. It, if you're not... If you don't really know the stage that well, you're most likely gonna get a time over. You have to, I always take this one shortcut that cuts down like five seconds, but even then, I'm still running out of time. This level just takes the whole 60 seconds, and it's just so long and boring, and I just, Wind is not a fun level. Put it in the F tier, honestly. Sucks that we don't have a lot of S tier levels. A lot of the levels in the first game are very frustrating and annoying, and there, there aren't that many great levels. Super Monkey Ball 2 is where everything shines, honestly. Next is Windy Slide, which also, another controversy with the name, is it Windy Slide or Windy Slide? I called this one Windy Slide, but apparently it's Windy Slide. I don't even know. I'm just gonna call it Windy Slide. So I'm gonna put Windy Slide in A tier. No, actually B tier, because you can get stuck in between the, the slides and then you're gonna be forced to like lose a life. It's pretty easy level nonetheless for Expert, and it's pretty fun. So I'm gonna put it in the B tier. Next is Fall Down. Fall Down is a pretty fun level. You just go down some arrows and stuff, and you get some nice bananas. So I'm gonna put it in the B tier. Twin Cross. Twin Cross is okay. It's very, very. How do I put it? It's not hard, but it's not easy either. And the hard path is actually really hard. But it's it's a little bit tedious and. The left path, aka the easier one, doesn't really get a lot of bananas. I'm honestly just going to put Twin Cross in the C tier. Um, I do dread when I play this stage though. 
And I even dread when I play Spiral Hard the next stage, which is just Spiral but worse. And I just cannot do this level the normal way. I just always take the shortcut, which the drop left at 56 seconds. Because the last wire is just so thin, and it's just really hard to balance it. Honestly, I'm going to put Spiral Hard in the D tier. And then we have Conveyor Parts, which is basically conveyors, but they split open. And actually, unlike Conveyor, the conveyors here actually work, but not much. And this stage is not that bad, honestly. I put it in the B tier, because the conveyors actually work better. And now we reach the Arctic levels. So here we have Gaps. Gaps is simple, there's nothing to it. You just hop over Gaps. I'm gonna put it in the C tier. Curvature. Curvature has this really thin wire that everyone loves. And just when you think you're done with wires, this stage just comes in out of nowhere. It's not, and not only that, when you get to that wire and die, you have to do the whole outer part all over again. Just, I'm not having it with this one. I'm going to put in the D tier. Antline Super is just Antline, but a little bit harder with pegs. I think this is actually a pretty good stage, because Antline itself is good. And Antline Super kind of just makes it a little bit harder. And it's not unbearably hard, so I'm going to put this one in the A tier. Drum is a cool level. There's just three drums, but there is a hold of strat with like holding like left at the end or something. Right at the end, I'm just gonna put drum in the B tier. And next is twist and spin, which is just basically a giant twizzler. I think it looks cool, it plays cool, it's a little bit slow, but you can do a nice shortcut. So I'm gonna also put this in the B tier. Speedy Jam is next. Speedy Jam is a little bit better than Middle Jam. Middle Jam is kind of slow, Speedy Jam is a little bit faster. But it's still not really a fun level of play. I'm going to put Speedy Jam in the C tier though. Because this one you can get over with quick, but quickly. Wow, I cannot talk today. Anyways, we're uh, making some good progress. We're almost there. I'm sorry if this has been boring, but I'm actually enjoying myself right now. This is uh, actually pretty fun. I should really do more tier lists like this. Anyways, Quake is next. Quake is an alright level. It... Sometimes I feel like this level can take super long and can get a time over if you don't know how to do it properly. I feel like the thing launches you way too slowly. It takes like 6 seconds to do it. You only get 30 on this one. This should re this should have been a 60 second level, honestly. Uh, I'm going to put Quake in the C tier because it's just in your average level, honestly. Cassiopeia is actually a pretty cool level. I actually like it. It's just your simple like moving platform level. And you gotta be a little quick with the movement. It's not that bad, honestly. I'm just gonna, I'll put in the B tier. And then we have Pirates right after. I actually really like this level. I think it's cool that you got these things swinging back and forth. I don't know why it's called Pirates though. Is it supposed to be like the ships going back and forth? Or the way the pirates swing their sword? I, I don't know. I don't know why it's called Pirates. But I'll put Pirates in the A tier. All right, now we're on the storm levels. These levels are infamous, a lot, yeah, a lot of them are infamous, and a lot of them are good, I guess. Well, here we have Bowl Open. I think it's a good start to the Storm World. You just, the final set of levels in Expert, and you're just like, dang, man, things are getting serious. Starting with a harder version of Bowl. Well, it's not hard, and it's at least a decent Expert level, so I'm going to put in the A tier as well. Next is Checker. Checker is basically like twin cross but better. You cross in checkers and there's a green goal and a red goal. So you can skip some levels if you want to. I'm going to put checker in the A tier as well. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to put it in the B tier. Because getting the red goal and the green goal are still painful. Carpet. Carpet sucks. F tier. It's just so slow and nobody likes this level. It's just... Yeah, it's just so slow and it's hard to cross sometimes. Ridge, Ridge I'll put in the C tier. It's just your simple, like, Ridge level, but it's not even that bad, honestly. Mixer. Ugh. This is the run killer, honestly, in my opinion. Mixer just... In Super Monkey Ball 1, it's just so difficult. And sometimes you can, like, just die when uh, right at the goal, and it gets really wrong. But in Super Monkey Ball Deluxe, this stage was made a lot easier. But I'm gonna put Mixer in the D tier. Rings? I think Rings is a pretty cool level. It's just a bunch of rings, but, you know, they get steeper as you go on. And the red goal is pretty easy. And since, I mean, did I say red goal? I meant green goal. 
But since there's a green ball that skips one of the most awful stages in this game, I'm gonna put this one in the S tier. Good job, Rings. And speaking of terrible stages, stairs. This one just makes you go up three stairs, which the collision on those stairs can be very random. Like sometimes I will make it easily, easily and then sometimes it will take me forever to make it. So honestly, stairs, bottom line, F tier. Why, I don't know why a user vision thought a stage where you have to go up stairs is, was fun, but it's not. Clover, Clover has said it looks cool and it's a bit difficult, but it's like actual expert level difficult and not like BS difficult. Uh, it's also one of the final stages of the game and it looks cool, honestly. So I'm gonna put Clover in the A tier. Coffee Cup, don't know why this is called Coffee Cup, but there's just a bunch of bumpers and goals and then one goal. And I don't know, it, it's, it's okay, honestly. There's nothing great about it. It's a little frustrating sometimes, but it's not that bad. I'm gonna put it in the C tier as well. Next is Metamorphosis, which is basically moves just like the GameCube, and it's a really cool final stage, honestly. Probably a better Expert 50 than Super Mario Ball 2 is Expert 50. <laughs> Air hockey sucks. But Metamorphosis is a really cool level, and I'm definitely going to put this one in the S tier. And those are the Expert levels. Now, let's move on to the bonus levels. Alright, there are only five bonus levels in the game, and they're all pretty decent. They're all very good to help you get bananas because bananas are pretty much everything in this game. So let's start with bonus basic. Bonus basic is just 50 free bananas, honestly, which is good for a beginner, kind of. And then it's also an advanced expert. And this this bonus stage is really useful for expert. But exam C comes out like two stages after this an expert. So you're gonna probably need all the bananas you can get. So I'm gonna put bonus basic in the A tier actually. Bonus wave. Bonus wave is okay, honestly. It's a little bit difficult to get all the bananas, but it's a nice little advanced challenge, honestly. It's also an expert right after tracks. So interestingly enough, after all the dying and tracks, you're probably gonna wanna get as much bananas as you can. So I'm gonna put bonus wave in the B tier because it's a little frustrating to get all the bananas sometimes. Bonus Grid, however, is really easy to get all the bananas, and it's just bumpers, and there's like an easy pattern you can do. It's it's pretty fun, except the only problem with this one um, is it's really hard to kill yourself if you're speedrunning this level, because if you want to go outside the stage and, you know, because there's no goal, you have to literally try your best go over the walls, or honestly let the time run out. That's the problem with this one for speedrunners, but I'm not really a speedrunner, I'm a casual player. So I'm going to put bonus grid in the A tier as well. Bonus bumpy is also pretty easy. It's towards the end of expert, and I think it's a pretty fun level. It's pretty easy to get all the bananas too, and if you need to kill yourself for speedruns, it also works out. So bonus bumpy will be in the A tier. Bonus hunting, however, is probably one of the worst bonus stages because you can't collect all the bananas. In fact, you can only collect like 10 or 20 bananas if you're really good. And this is the last bonus stage of the game, right before the storm levels, which I feel like at that point you're need, you only need as much lives as you can, especially if you're trying to get to master, which you're going to have to go through expert extra as well. So I don't know, bonus hunting is not fun. It's also just, you can't get a lot of bananas, which that's the point of bonus stages, but this stage doesn't really allow you to do that. So I'm gonna put bonus hunting in the D tier. And those are all the bonus stages. Now let's move on to the extra stages, which is gonna be all the beginner, advanced, and expert extra stages. Blur Bridge and one other extra stage are in beginner, advanced, and expert extra. And Blur Bridge is pretty okay, I guess. There's not really much to it. It's just platforms that move back and forth. And they have some sort of illusion to it. It's probably why it's called Blur Bridge. It's a pretty simple stage and it's pretty easy. I would probably put it in the B tier for Blur Bridge. Next is Hitter, which it's just the thing that spins around and hits you. And it's pretty easy to do, honestly. There's not really much to it. It's just simple, honestly. So I'll put it in the C tier as well. As well, as a, assuming I put the last one in the C tier. So I cannot talk today. <laughs> yeah, this is what you get when you subscribe to Charum. Anyways, Amusement Vision logo is next, or AV logo, which is pretty 
nice nod to the Amusement Vision, which is the people that made this game. And, you know, Amusement Vision logo is just an AV logo that wobbles, and it's in all three extra levels for some reason. I don't know why, but it's a nice visual stage. It also reflects really cool, so I'm going to put in the A tier. Wow, it's getting so hard to put stuff up, up on top tier now. <laughs> hard hitter. It's just hitter, but it's harder. Um, I'm just going to put it next to hitter. Puzzle. Puzzle kind of sucks, actually. It's just... You gotta, you can't even do it the normal way because you'll run out of time. It's probably why it's called Puzzle, because you gotta go on top of the bumps and like, you know, use them to propel you on the other side of the stage. But the stage, even when doing the shortcut, is still really long and really boring, and I just, I dread every time I see the stage. I'm gonna put Puzzle in the F tier, unfortunately. Polar Large? That's also an easy F tier level, because that stage is insane if you thought polar was bad polar large is polar but like three times its size also the outer ring is a little bs because sometimes you can hop on the outer ring and the fallout plane is very high so you can be on the stage still and it'll consider a fallout this is the final stage of advanced extra but it does not do the advanced extra justice at all breathe breathe is pretty cool it's pretty much a decent level honestly there's not much to it. It's pretty easy. Honestly, a lot of expert extra is pretty easy. It's probably because the master stages are right after, so they kind of want to like give you a little break. But breathe is pretty fun. I'm gonna put it in the A tier actually. Here we go. Next, I'm gonna next is Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel is a fun level, but it's really easy for expert extra. But I'm not grading the stages based on where they're placed anyway. I'm kind of just placing them how fun they are. So. Ferris wheel is also going to go in the A tier because it's a pretty fun level. Factory though, basically this level is kind of dumb because if you miss the goal you die. You have to literally leap for the goal either by going down the slope or using the edges and if once you get a practice this stage is pretty easy but it's just like trial and error and you know when in a game where you only have three lives and lives are pretty hard to get you don't want to do a stage where you have to kill yourself multiple times just to get to the goal. So I'm going to put Factory in the D tier. Curl Pipe. Curl Pipe's pretty fun. There's not much to it. It's You might get stuck in the holes though, and if you get stuck in the bottom of the pipe, you're pretty much soft locked into a hole. That's pretty frustrating. So I'm going to put it in the C tier. Magic Hand. Magic Hand kind of sucks. There's not much to it, honestly. Except the thing just extends or whatever, and sometimes you can run out of time. It's it sucks, but it's also like you can get through this stage quickly if you know what you're doing. So I'm also gonna put Magic Hand in the C tier. Sanctuary is next, and Sanctuary is not bad honestly. It's you just go down stuff, I don't know like domes or whatever, and it's not that difficult. So I'm just gonna put Sanctuary in the B tier, and lastly we have Daluma. And Daluma is a stage where hammers try to hit the stuff in the middle, hit the pillars in the middle, and the goal will fall. So you're gonna have to wait it out till the goal fully falls, but if you wait out too long, the hammer will hit the stage and you off of it. It's a nice, cool final stage, and it's a very creative concept. It's a little bit boring though, because you gotta wait, but you don't have to wait that long. You gotta wait like a little under 10 seconds. So I'm gonna put Daluma in the A tier. All right, now we finish the extra stages, and now it's time for my favorites, the master stages. This is gonna have a mix of A tiers and F tiers. I can already tell just by looking at it. Well, here we go. And last but not least, the master stages. Here we go. I, here we go, honestly, I just can't. So looking at these stages giving me, is giving me like PTSD flashbacks when I was a kid and played this for the first time. Honestly, if I'm gonna be real, I can't still get to master by myself. I still need to use like save states and stuff. I just, I'm not very good at monkey ball, honestly. I don't know why I still play it. It's because I love it. Anyways, let's start with Wave Master. Wave Master is a pretty fun level. It's very long and just a bunch of blocks moving back and forth, but it has a cool trick if you get the rhythm right. And I think it's pretty cool. Don't know why it's called Wave Master, because I guess the blocks move the waves. 
It would be cool if it was called like Rhythm Master or something. But I'm gonna put Wave Master in the B tier. Fan Master is probably one of the coolest looking stages in this game with that rainbow fan. It's also not that difficult for Master. And there's a neat shortcut you can do. It's probably the best Master stage. I'm gonna put it in S tier actually. But I gotta scroll all the way up just to move it to S tier. Can you believe it? Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> Stamina Master. Now this is a stage that's pretty infamous amongst the Monkey Ball community. This stage is really, really difficult. With the long narrow peak with a bunch of blocks that move really fast and this stupid vine at the end. And this vine is so stupid that nobody does this stage the normal way. Everyone does it with the shortcut. Honestly, I don't blame them because that vine is really stupid and I just, I really just can't with this level. It's just not fun. It's very frustrating. It's a really good challenge though for a master level. Um, so I can at least respect that. So I'm going to put in the D tier. Now you have Spring Master, which I don't know why it's called Spring Master and not Carpet Master. It's not really a spring, it's just a carpet that rolls in and out. And it's pretty, a pretty fun stage and it looks nice too, honestly. I'm probably going to put Spring Master in the A tier. Next is Dance Master, probably the worst stage in the game. It's very random. Apparently there's a pattern, but I can never figure it out. It's very random, this thing moves around like crazy, and you lose life so quickly on this one. I'm putting Dance Master in the F tier, honestly. And next is Roll Master, which involves you on a dice with very fast reaction time on to see if you can last as long before the goal shows up. It's pretty decent, honestly. I like this level. It's nice and challenging, and there's a cool skip to it. So I'm also going to put Roll Master in the A tier. Edge Master is next, and this stage kind of sucks. You just gotta watch the buttons for them to press, and then you have to move while the stage rotates. It's a little bit slow, and it's not enjoyable, but it's not that bad. So I'm gonna put it in the C tier. Next is Dodge Master, which is kind of similar to Dance Master, but it's a little bit better. And those pegs can get very frustrating. So, I don't know, Dodge Master rubs me off the wrong way sometimes. It's just not very fun, honestly. It's a good challenge though. So I'm gonna put da Dodge Master in the D tier. I almost said Dance Master. D for Dodge Master. Bridge Master. <laughs> All right, so I do not like this level because I hate wires. This level has some insanely thin wires and I can never beat them the whole way. I always take the shortcut, which is also really hard to do. And in, in the original Monkey Ball, this was the only Master Sage. And it shows. It really does. This is this probably would have been the last stage if Monkey Master didn't exist. Because Monkey Master just looks like a final stage material. But Bridge Master is just not fun. But I can respect that it is a challenge for true Monkey Ball Masters. So I will hold my grudge against wires right now and put Bridge Master in the C tier. Even though I think it belongs in the F tier. And last but not least is Monkey Master, which is a stage that's shaped like I, I. And everyone hates this stage, actually. And I can see why, because getting from the leg to the stomach is very difficult. You gotta be precise with your movements. And I, his head moves very quickly sometimes. So it can throw you off, honestly. But I love the way it looks, and it's a very nice final stage looking stage, honestly. Monkey Master is a cool looking level. So I'm gonna put Monkey Master in the D tier. So that's it. This is my Super Monkey Ball 1 tier list. Chaser, Labyrinth, Downhill Heart, Paperwork, Rings, Metamorphosis, and Fan Master. I would consider my favorite stages of this one. And then Stoppers, Middle Jam, Excursion, Tracks, Tram, Wind, Carpet, Stairs, Puzzle, Polar Large, and Dance Master I would consider the worst. And the rest are just all in the middle. And yeah, you don't have to agree with my list. I know a lot of people don't, definitely don't agree with some of the choices, but you know, we're all different. And I will say that this was fun doing. I actually really enjoyed making this tier list, and I hope like you guys enjoyed it. And I'm definitely gonna do the Super Monkey Ball 2 one next, and maybe like touch and roll after. And yeah, just let me know what you think in the comments. Like, let me know if you agree or disagree. I don't know. I'm sure most of you guys might disagree. I'm, I'm a very different person. 
But hey, if you agree, let me know. And yeah, I think that's all for this video. But yeah, stay tuned for the next one. See you guys.